All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our 14th AET training. Remember, they're all really bite-sized chunks that you can watch in five to 10 minutes. And pretty much all these worksheets are available on AET's website, and we have them organized on our website as well. Um, but this session is on POAs and kind of providing feedback to future teams. Remember, as FFA advisors, it's our, our goal to advise our students from time to time as the need arises. We're not necessarily uh, supposed to be managing every aspect of the program. And so one thing that AET does really well for us is helps to reduce some of that burden on us of being like the gatekeepers or the only person with knowledge about what we've done in the past and provide some tools to really help us get back to those roots of advising the program instead of like directing it and no one needs like a second or third time of being chapter president. So AT can be a really helpful tool for doing that. And we're gonna walk through some resources on the site right now for it. So um, this is our website. Remember it's got all the videos that we've done in the past and worksheets and quizzes. This is an optional session. The only thing that was required this year was for you to complete your teacher profile info. And it looks like about three fourths of our teachers have got a good start on that. You should be able to see what percentage of your profile is complete. And at some point, we'll start nudging you a little bit if you didn't finish that up. We need to have all the students complete their profiles. Remember, that's all students, not just FFA members, because this replaces our state data survey. And then you'll submit FFA membership here. And so really, it's just those three things that we have to do. Um, fill out our profile and enter our courses. Students fill out their profiles. Um, and then you submit any students that want to be members of FFA. This is an optional one on reflecting and providing feedback, uh, which can be really, really helpful. So there's a help sheet right here if you want to view it. And it walks us through the entire uh, program of activities, uh, how to do a strategic plan at an officer retreat, what's our mission, our goals, what are things we want to work on, how to plan those activities out so that there's steps. Uh, remember, the more detailed those steps and goals are, the more helpful. Um, here, like I had my officers and committee members write down everything. Uh, how many loaves of bread should we buy for the teacher appreciation breakfast during FFA week? Uh, how early do they need to reserve the school gym for the dance that they're holding? Uh, because this just makes it simpler for me. And then we would run through these checklist items during our officer meetings to make sure we're done. Now, this is the piece that we often don't do as a program, and it's super, super important, is this results and evaluation component of it here. These pieces with the blue ribbon are attached to the National Chapter Award. Just like this award program can export a state degree or a proficiency award, it can also export uh, your National Chapter Award. So you don't necessarily need to do these if you're not planning to complete that award. And they can be a little bit specific in what they're asking for, which might not be very useful for every single event in your program. Uh, but if you click on this results tab, there are some questions that are really helpful here and they say optional, but it's called accomplishments and recommendations. And so after every single event that we did as a chapter, we would sit down with our officers and committee chairs and members who are part of it and write feedback to the next year's team. So during that teacher breakfast, the one year the students decided that they were gonna make the French toast the night before, like make the batter up and let the bread soak so that in the morning they just had to put it in the oven and it would be good to go. That saved them a lot of time. Now, they also thought it was a good idea to try cooking all the bacon in a separate room because it got, like they were nervous there wasn't enough space. So they opened up this little storage closet and cooked it in there. Well, they ended up smoking themselves out and almost setting off the fire alarm. So they made a recommendation for next year that you need to cook the bacon and sausage outside. Uh, but that cooking the, you know, the French toast the night before was a really good idea. So provide recommendations for next year's team on how they can do better and um, talk about the good things that happened too. Now, I say this is, is super important because we want our teams, well, I always told my officers, think about it, how well did the past team set you up for success? Or even us as ag teachers could think about this. How well did the teacher before us at our job set us up for success to come in? Was it a, a nightmare with a million file cabinets and nothing was organized? Or were there easy lesson plans to follow and the, the place is clean and organized and you, you knew what you were supposed to be doing? 
the better we can set that team up for success, the easier it's going to be for them. And so I got my officers in the habit of really taking some time to reflect on each event um, because every year we got a little bit better and every year my job also got a lot easier too. And so the, this is one of the best things about AET. And so instead of it being this binder that they pass down year to year and it's got all the stuff in it that no one understands and sometimes it gets lost and you have to start over this becomes one of the best parts of AET so on the calendar you can find the goals that they wanted to complete like we wanted 100 students to attend our dance you can find all the details and the steps that you needed to accomplish and then you can find the results section where you can reflect on it and this makes managing a program really easy the other nice thing is you can actually copy your calendar from year to year and the state Lavin Rada has already put in all of your state events and as the region set their calendar she puts the region events into the region calendars so chances are at least half of your events are already in your calendar for you which makes it a lot easier to manage this so for this one it's just really simple on providing feedback to future teams and taking that time to reflect make sure that you use this results an evaluation section and take a moment to think about what are the accomplishments, things we did well, and what are the recommendations or feedback we want to provide to next year's team to allow them to be successful. Remember, AET is a free tool that's being provided to you through MailSee. We are using your CTE levy to cover a third of it. If you're running into barriers on that, let me or Lavin know, and we've got some Perkins resources or, or other state resources to help. Um, but we hope that you continue to find use in the tool and that it makes your job easier, especially during these difficult times. If there's something you need help with, please reach out to me, Lavin, Julia, Denny, or anyone else on state staff. Thank you, and we hope you're having a great day.